Hi everyone, welcome back to Happy English. My name is Teacher Byron, and today we have two special friends to join us for story time. We have Tiny Teddy and Happy Rhino. Happy Rhino, say hello everyone. Hello, how are you? Okay, so Tiny Teddy, what book do you want to read today? That's an excellent idea. Let's read about feeling jealous. So everyone feels jealous every now and then, but how do we deal with it? Let's find out by reading this book together. Oh, there is a very unhappy bird on the front page. Oh, and the bird's name is Jacko. He says, "Hello, my name is Jacko. I live with Trey. Who is Trey?" Okay, so sometimes Trey wishes he could get the attention someone else is getting. So Trey feels jealous. So what is jealous? Jealous is when someone wishes to get the attention that somebody else is getting. Here, Trey has a baby brother who is getting so much attention from the mother, and Trey is thinking. He gets all the attention. Trey feels jealous. Trey wants the attention from his mother as well. Sometimes Trey wishes he had something someone else has. Trey feels jealous. So here Trey is thinking, "I want a new bike too." Sometimes. Trey wishes he had a skill or talent someone else has, and then Trey feels jealous. So here, there are people playing baseball, and Trey says, "I wish I could hit like that." So Trey is jealous that this person can hit the ball very well. Sometimes Trey wishes he could do something. Someone else gets to do, and then Trey feels jealous. So here, Trey's sister is watching TV late at night, and Trey says, "I want to stay up and watch the movie too." But the mother probably thinks, "You're too young. It's time for bed." Okay, so listen, everybody. When you feel jealous, you feel envious of someone else. You want to do what they do or have what they have. So here, Trey is jealous because he wants the mother to pay attention to him, like she's paying attention to the baby brother. When you feel jealous. You might say or do things you shouldn't say or do. So here, Trey pushes the bike over and says, "This is a dumb bike." So he shouldn't say bad words, and he shouldn't push the bike down either. But when you're jealous, you say and do things you're not supposed to. That's why we should be careful when we are jealous. Try not to say mean things when you are jealous. So try not to say mean, bad things. Like here, Trey is saying, "Brian is a brat." That is very mean to say to your baby brother, but he's feeling jealous. Try not to do mean things too when you feel jealous. So here. Trey is jealous, so he takes away the drinking bottle from his baby brother and makes him very upset. So we shouldn't do mean things when we feel jealous. Wow! Saying and doing mean things won't make you, won't stop you from feeling jealous. They will only make Everyone feel bad. So saying mean things and doing mean things 
will not stop us from feeling jealous, but it will only make everyone else feel bad. So here Trey says, I didn't mean to make him cry. So now he, he's feeling bad and he wants to help make the baby stop crying. There are things you can do to make yourself feel better when you feel jealous. You can talk to someone about the way you feel and explain why you feel jealous. So here Trey is feeling jealous and now he's telling his mother about it. He's telling his mother how he feels. He says, Brian gets all the attention. And the mother says, sometimes babies need extra care. And that makes sense. They are still babies. When you feel jealous of the attention someone else is getting, ask another person to spend time with you. If the person is too busy, plan to do something together later on. Try to be patient while you wait. So here now, he's looking for his father to spend time with him. He says, can we read stories together? And the father says, we can in a little while, because the father is busy right now. When you feel jealous of something someone else has, think of the things that you have. Try to appreciate what you have, and remember that nobody has everything they want. So here, Trey is thinking, I love my new ball and net. So now Trey is thinking of what he has instead of always thinking about what other people has that he doesn't have. So Trey is learning to appreciate what he has instead of constantly being jealous of what others have. It's a very good lesson. Okay, finally, when you feel jealous of another person's ability, remember that you have special talents too. So, remember he was jealous that the other friend was hitting the ball very well. But now he is not jealous anymore because he's thinking, I'm not a good hitter, but I'm a great catcher. So now he's thinking of his own talents instead of focusing on the talents that others have. Oh, when you feel jealous of the fun things everyone else gets to do, think of the fun things that you get to do. So now he gets to play in the bathtub, play with letters, and play with bubbles and his little bath ducky. And he says, I love the tub. And when he is happy, who is happy too? His mother's happy too. So remember, when other people are doing fun things, we can do fun things too. Last page. Remember that everyone feels jealous once in a while. Feeling jealous is okay. Just be sure to do things that will make you feel better when you feel jealous. So everyone's, everyone feels jealous sometimes. It's not about how to not be jealous, but it's about how to deal with being jealousy, how to deal with feeling jealous, and how to turn the mind into thinking more happily, more gratefully, and more kindly. So when next time we feel jealous, instead of thinking of what others have, or how good others are, we can think of what we have and how good and lucky we are to have the things we have in our life. I hope you enjoyed this story about feeling jealous and I hope you like the company of myself, Tiny Teddy and Happy Rhino. If you like this story and all our other stories, please like and subscribe and we will see you again for the next story time video. Thank you everyone, thanks for watching, bye bye. Bye everyone!